Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's dive into this eggshell texture. We're going to start with a noise texture. So press Shift A and search for noise texture. And we're going to duplicate that as well. So Shift D and duplicate. Select the first one and add a mapping and texture coordinate node and change that to the object. Connect the vector to the second vector. So that's the second noise texture. And we're going to add a couple of color ramps in here as well. So create one and then duplicate it. Plug the factors in. Add a couple of bump nodes. And plug the colors into the height of each. And then we're going to mix those together. So if you haven't got the Node Wrangler enabled, search for a mix RGB shader. Otherwise, press Control Shift, right click on one of them and drag that up to the other to automatically add the mix RGB. Leave it set at mixed and plug that into the normal. Now, I have already got my object loaded. I'm in the shading tab and I will enable viewport shading. And that's connected to the principal shader that was already in position. Uh, specular we're going to put, let's say at around 0.15. Roughness, let's say 0.35. And then we need to add some color as well and change some of these parameters. For the first noise texture, we'll change the scale to 125. And the roughness to 0.35. We're going to move the black slider over, let's say 0.35. We'll leave the white as it is and we'll change the interpolation mode to B spline. On the bottom one, we're going to go for a scale of 50, detail of 5, and roughness of 1. And you can see how it's refining that texture. We're going to drag the black slider across to about there. Change the interpolation mode to B spline and drag the white in so that they almost touch. If I zoom in on that, you'll get a better idea of how it's looking. So it's got a very bumpy texture. We're just going to soften that off a little by reducing the strength on the first bump node to 0.25 and the distance to 0.5 and then 0.5 on each of those others. We don't need to invert it. I must have done that by mistake. And that's the basis of the actual texture itself. Now we need to add some colour and some details. So we're going to add a Musgrave texture. Connect up the vector from the mapping node. Add a color ramp. Connect that up to the Musgrave texture and to the base color on the principal shader. Scale we're going to set at 25 and leave everything else set at 2. Now we're going to change some of these colors. So I need, um, the hex code for eggshell. So let's put that here. F zero E A D six. It's kind of a rough eggshell color. Try 
drag that over, add an additional color, and let's copy that hex code. And we'll paste that hex code into here, but we're going to drop the value a little bit. So let's say 0.65. Do the same for this one. But this time around, let's change some of the saturation as well. Maybe I need to drop the value here just a little bit. So I've just moved them round. My basic egg texture is, uh, sorry, egg color is this one. My slightly darker one is this one. And then the full dark one is this one. So what you then get is basically the lighter eggshell color with some of that speckled um, stuff that you would get all the speckled coloring that you would get all over it. Um, and that's about it really, to be honest. There's not much else to show you here. So that's your full node tree. And we will send that to render using the cycles render engine. Okay, so that's it as it comes, but here's a couple of other ideas for you. We can crank up the subsurface to one, paste in our egg coloring uh, hex code, and then drop the value a bit, increase the saturation a bit, and change the hue so it's slightly more in the red region. So more like a off-white peach and then increase the transmission to 0.1 so it's got a tiny bit of translucency and let's see what that one looks like okay and there's the final render on that one which looks slightly more realistic as it's got much more translucency um, but if you wanted to change something else, you could increase the index of refraction to 1.6. Other than that, there's not much more for me to show you here. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up before you go today. And of course, do let your friends know and subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Music